If you are a PC user and thinking about gaming, then this video is definitely for you. Because today, I am sharing something I have been personally using for months. A light version of Windows 10 that's not only been amazing for gaming, but also editing. Seriously, I've seen a noticeable boost in FPS. And the best part? I'm going to walk you through the entire process of downloading and installing it. So let's get started. First of all, you have to download both of these files from my website. Plus, you will also need a 4GB pen drive to make it bootable. But if you don't have one, you can also use a memory card instead. So first, you have to insert the pen drive into the PC, then launch Rufus. Next, you have to drag and drop the ISO file you have downloaded into Rufus. As soon as you do this, the option will automatically change to GPT. So if your partition system is based on GPT, then leave it as it is. Since mine is MBR, I will choose MBR. Then you simply have to click on the format button, then ignore this warning sign, and your pen drive will start becoming bootable. One hour later. So here, the process is now completed, and now I will restart the PC and record the remaining process with Handcam. As soon as the PC restarts, you have to press the boot key multiple times, which will open your boot menu. Now it is possible that the way to access your boot menu might be different because this varies from system to system. Since mine is Dell laptop, so its boot key is F12, but your might be different. As soon as the booting is complete, you will land directly on the Windows setup page. Here you will get two options. Either you can install this operating system with Windows Defender or without it. If you are doing it for gaming, I will recommend that you keep this option selected and click on the Install button. In the next step, you have to choose the partition system that has at least around 20 GB of space. And make sure, if you are dual booting this OS with the old Windows, then you must choose a separate partition. Then after choosing, you have to click on the Install button and your Windows installation will start, which will take around 20 minutes to complete. After that, your PC will restart just once and you will land directly into Windows, meaning you won't have to do any settings or set anything up. Your Windows will start directly. So here it is, our Windows has launched. And now let's talk about its features. First of all, you will find a folder on the desktop from where you can access some free softwares. Even you can tweak and customize your Windows further from right there. Apart from this, the developer has also provided you with additional tools that you can access from the Start menu. This version even provides you with the Microsoft Store, which is optional. You can install it if you want or leave it. Apart from this, I also tried GTA 4 on this OS, because with these specs, it wasn't possible to try GTA 5, and to be honest, compared to the original Windows, I got much better performance. So overall, it's a really good OS N. You should definitely try it if you're thinking about gaming. But if you're looking for an operating system that gives you the feel of a MacBook, then this video on the left is perfect for you. Just click on it. And yes, I'll meet you there. Bye.